Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the very, very best day of the week. You have lunch plans? I do. So, found a good proverb to share with you because, as you know, on Wednesdays, we seek guidance and wisdom from God, from his holy word. We find those in the book of Proverbs. So, very quick reminder of what we do with Proverbs because this is where it's at. We're not reading a sentence, making memory work out of it to check a box. What we're doing is taking these words from our Lord and sitting with them, thinking through them, praying through them, considering how God has ordered life to work and how God has invited us to live inside of his order in a way that's faithful and wise. So we hear these words, look back. Looking back through these words, we find some guidance for the future. That is maturity. Our theme for today, you know, it's about hard work. And it's also about the connection between hard work and things like faithfulness and patience. So this might come as a challenge to our ears. Those are all hard things to accomplish hard work, faithfulness, and patience. And yet, God's about to call us to it. Check it out. From Proverbs 28, verse 20, we hear this. A faithful man will abound with blessings, but whoever hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. A faithful man will abound with blessings, but whoever hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. Let me make a couple notes on that for you. One of the things that I wanted to note for you is that even though it says that a faithful person will abound in blessings, it doesn't necessarily say that a faithful person will automatically be rich. Riches sometimes come from hard work, faithfulness, diligence, but it's not a necessity. Also, faithful here it is talking about that trustworthiness as a worker, the diligence of hard work. It's not talking about being faith-filled. It's talking about how we approach each and every day. Why will a faithful person abound with blessings? One, it's because the fruit of hard work is often reward. Also, I think you and I probably know that when we work hard, we find that hard work itself is a blessing, shapes us, builds character, serves other people. Another thing I wanted you to notice is that faithfulness clearly is meant to be something that plays out over a long, long time. The reason I know that is because, as you see here, it's contrasted with the person who's hasty. So you see in that top line, a faithful person. Second line, the person who hastens. It's a contrast. So here's the thing. True faithfulness, not something you can do for an hour a day or five minutes a day. But something that you and I are called to every moment of every day. That makes it tough. Also shows how unbelievably valuable it is. Here's the thing about the person who hastens. The person who hastens to be rich is likelier to step on people who are around them. The person who hastens to be rich is likelier to care less about the value of the work itself, likely to care less about the value of good work. They're likelier to miss that it's better for us to work hard with the intent being to love and serve others and then find extra delight in whatever the reward might come at the end. That is significantly better than it is to chase after the end reward with selfish abandon. Likelier to cut corners, likelier to think that the paycheck or the sale is the real end. The real goal is to work hard because in hard work, we honor God, we love and serve our neighbor, and also we build character. Think about that. Think about your day. Think about your week and your month. Think about the goodness of the work that God 
gives to you. It's an easy thing, I think, to count the end blessings because they're numbers in a bank account or things that those numbers permitted us to surround ourselves with. More difficult, but more valuable, I think, to think of work itself as a gift, to realize that you and I have the opportunity to be faithful every day, to value the gift of work that God gives us, to value the gift of family that God gives us and time and all the treasures that God pours out on us and asks us to steward. So that's what he calls us to today. You, his child, forgiven and set free, but not set free to care only about yourself, set free to care less about that and work hard to the glory of God and the love of others, we pray. Lord, help me to be wise, not according to the world's standards, but according to yours. Help me to choose daily the way of wisdom and the way of Jesus. Amen. Hey, thanks for clicking. See you next time.